I want to spend a minute talking about buffered ETFs. Welcome to Barry's Bites. Please join our host, attorney and financial advisor Chris Barry. It's a tool that's really popular right now, and not a lot of people have heard of them. So I-bonds, we're at about 9%. They've been dropping. I think right now they're about 7%. I'd see them to continue to drop. Historically, I-bonds have gotten like 1% to 2% rate of return. But with all the inflation right now, they're still performing pretty well. But that might be coming to an end. A tool I like right now is what's called a buffered ETF. The way a buffered ETF is, it works like this. Let's say you're following the S&P 500, which is pretty volatile. And you can get this as what's called an exchange traded fund. But a buffered ETF, it builds in a buffer. So let's say you put $100,000 into this buffered ETF. Now it builds in downside protection. And let's say we get a buffer of 20%, meaning if we drop 10%, we still don't lose anything. We haven't gained, we haven't lost because it's within that buffer zone. We have to pay some fees, but that's not much. But if we're to lose, say 25%, then we actually only lose 5% because we have that buffer. Now, of course, there's a cap. And so that cap is, let's say, about 12%, meaning if it goes up 10, you get the 10. If it goes up 20, you get 12. So really what you're doing is you're saying, you know what, chances are, I think it's only happened three times in the past 25 years where the market, and after a year, was actually down more than 20%. Chances are you're going to be anywhere from where you're at now to gaining 12% over the next year. That's not a bad deal given kind of the volatility. So chances are you're going to get anywhere from zero to 12% over the next year. Outperforming kind of the CDs, assuming the market does go up a little bit, but you get downside protection. Nice thing about this is it's completely liquid. And this can be done inside of IRAs and trusts and that type of thing. So interesting little tool, buffer DTF. I'm not saying you should throw everything in there, especially long-term money, but especially short-term because we expect continued volatility with everything kind of tracking up over the next year or so. But still, there's nothing to say that the market's going to go gangbusters. So we're really looking to that presidential election.